afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live around the world on Facebook, on Twitch.tv, on Mixer and on YouTube. While we're getting everything set up, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Runs and Rides YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run, on Twitter at Film My Run, and you can also go to the website which is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax and watch me do all the hard work. Thank you very much. Although I'm not riding, I'm running, but I get your point. Uh, so we are um, running the 8642 kind of pyramid thing today. Uh, this is uh, an, an interval session of sorts. It's more of a progression, really. Um, we do uh, 200 meters at one speed, and then we speed up, but we do um, hang on a minute, that's not right. Oh yeah, yeah. We do 800 meters at one speed, then we speed up, but we do less distance, so we do 600 meters. And then we speed up again, but we do less distance, so we do 400 meters next. And then we speed up again, but we do less distances again, 200 meters this time. Then we have a little break, and then we do all that in reverse. So we start off with the fast speed and 200 meters distance, but then we slow down, we go for longer. Uh, we've got Kim Little with us today on the course, and uh, Tim is running in Group A, and we have uh, just under three minutes before we start. a bit early this usually I do 7 30 uh, but I'm doing 5 30 today because uh, I'm gonna take my kids swimming later on well I'm not gonna take them swimming they're gonna go swimming and I'm gonna watch them in their lessons because I haven't watched my kids doing their swimming lessons for ages so it's about time I did uh, Carol Carol is running in group D tonight Carol says all aboard <laughs> and uh, Thomas hello Tom all right buddy we haven't seen you for ages are you injured still are you gonna Rejoin us at some point. What's going on? Yeah, same for me. So C Plumber says A on Monday, B on Wednesday. So I joined Group A on Monday and uh, today I'm joining Group B. So we've got 9.8 kilometres to do today. Uh, by the way, just let me know that you can see me and hear me okay. We had some problems with the stream on Monday. Terrible internet on Monday it was. I think I've sorted a few things out. Um, basically just means turning switches on and then off and then back on again. Uh, but I, I, think, I think we're looking a bit better tonight. But maybe that's too early to say. So let me know. Uh, Lol Monster, thank you. Says all good. Thank you, buddy. 
So it looks like there are quite a lot of people on the start line for this uh, session. Uh, but remember, we're split into three different groups. So um, I think there's only about three or four running in my group. Goran says it's perfect on both sides so far. Thank you, Goran. Um, this is a fairly tough session, so it may get to the point later on where I'm not talking an awful lot and I am just concentrating on the run. Ah, uh, Carol is not running now. She's running at 7.30. Right, we're off in a second. I imagine we'll be starting a little bit faster than this. So let me just bump it up a bit. We've got a one kilometre warm up. Uh, thanks for the ride on, Phil. Ride on. Whiplash, have you been in a car crash? And everyone else, thank you for your ride right on. that you're just uh, firing at me. Brent as well. Right Thanks, guys. And Frilly. Right on. A ton of ride ons all appearing at the start of the run. And John Hancock right as well. Oh, and Laurie. Blimey. Right I can't keep up with all these ride ons. Thank you very much. Sanderson. Right on. And Vadu. Right on. I'll do mine at the end. So 9.8 kilometers an hour is a nice gentle start for what is going to be a fairly tough session. Oh no. Uh, David Adams says, get running outside. David, I do plenty of running outside, <laughs> but I also have a job uh, and part of that is running on this treadmill and uh, trying to encourage other people to get running on Zwift. But uh, I do a lot of my running outside and if you have a look at my Strava, you, you'll know. Uh, Jonathan Cost has an annoying little injury, says Carol. But Thomas, Thomas wins the uh, Thomas wins the sympathy vote today. Haven't had a car crash and's got whiplash, so that's not good. But swift recovery, Tom. But I'm glad your uh, glad your knee is recovered. So in my group, we've got Plummer, Vadu, Bridgewood, and Sanderson and Odysseo. Oh, and also Kim Little as well, and Nando, who were a little bit ahead. So we'll see how this session goes tonight. I did originally join Group A, and then I thought better of it, because uh, some of the paces towards the uh, middle of the session are scary, scary. Uh, and I'm not up to them just yet. So in 500 meters, we're going to do a couple of warm-up sprints, 200 meters each. Alan Glendening, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. <laughs> Very warm again in the uh, shed quarters tonight. I've got as many um, 
windows open as I can possibly muster. It's a bit difficult when you're running with a green screen uh, because you have to cover yourself basically in green curtain. So there's not a lot of room for air to get in. I've got my fan on. Uh, Ian Matthews is playing catch up somewhere. He says he was a bit late leaving work. But don't strain yourself trying to catch up with us, Ian. Just do your session best you can. Yes, Carol, I saw that. I think um, a lot of people agree that since um, since an update not long ago from Stride, the, uh, the Stride has seemed to run a little bit slower than it used to compared to treadmill speed. Um, it's still pretty damn accurate. I mean, it's still the most accurate foot pod. But uh, yeah, there was a, there was an update a few months ago, and it did seem to do a couple of odd things that affected the pace on uh, on the treadmill. But there we are. I'm sure Gus Nelson would argue otherwise. treadmill is going to be really totally accurate at all though, Carol. There's always going to be some margin of error. Right, here we go with our first little sprint at 13 kilometers an hour for 200 meters. feels relatively comfortable. Don't want to be straining already. These first couple of sprints are really just to loosen up the legs and get you ready for the harder work that's to come. If you're struggling now, you probably need to drop back a group. And there we go. So 400 meters recovery, and then we do that again. <sighs> well, I would argue, Carol, that our smart treadmills are more accurate than your bog standard home treadmill. I mean, you know, the treadmill I'm running on now retails at around £3,000. Now, if that is not more accurate in terms of motor speed and belt speed than a 500 or even a £1,000 um, normal treadmill, then we're wasting our money, aren't we? So, most people, most runners on Zwift are running on basic home treadmills and using a foot pod. And I, I, would be, I would be fairly annoyed if their speed and pace on Zwift was more accurate than mine Um, you know, if, if I'm running on a treadmill that's worth two to three times as much with a direct connection to Zwift. 
And when I when I use my stride foot pod, it really is very very accurate. It's you know the stride and my treadmill are not far off at all. 0 0.1, 0 0.01 of a kilometre per hour. Right here we go again. 13, 200 metres. I, um, I didn't actually see those bits of that thread that you're talking about, so I'll have to go back and have another look. And uh, maybe I'll have a few choice words. Okay, there we go again. So that's our little warm up over. So now all we need to do is mentally prepare for quite a tough um, session. So the first thing to do now is recover. And uh, we've got 800 meters coming up at 13.9, so virtually 14 kilometers an hour. The thing is about this session, it is over before it's begun. So, uh, you just need to grind it out. And, and they'll tick by very quickly. Each rep, eight, six, four, and two, will, will tick by very quickly. It's just holding on to the pace. Okay, Carol, Valerie Williams, I'll have a look, thank you. So two kilometers done, 7.8 left of Wednesday workout. An earlier one for me today. Uh, Tom says, how was my race abroad? Did it go well? Um, yes, very tough. 100 kilometers, 6,000 meters of ascent to the top of Mount Teed in, uh, in Tenerife. Um, the climb up was unbelievably difficult. Never done anything quite so hard. Getting to the very top, I was dizzy because of the lack of oxygen, because we were three and a half thousand meters high in the sky, which is the highest I've ever been on a, on a run. Um, so that was really tough. Um, but I ran quite well coming down and I just faded in the last 10K, my legs went. I couldn't run downhill because my quads were trashed. I came in in 22 hours. Richard did it in 17 hours, 40 minutes. So that's pretty good for him. So, I mean, I'm fairly pleased with my time. I was hoping for anything around about uh, between 20 and 24. So 20 will do, 22 will do. But it took me a good week to recover. Right, 800 metres at this pace. It's nice and steady, breathing easy, trying to relax. Still very early in the, in the workout. Nice numbers, actually. For a 5.30 session, here in the UK anyway. <sighs> and it's lunchtime over on the East Coast. And uh, mid-morning on the West Coast of America. So most people will be at work. And uh, if you look at the board, actually, it is, it is all uh, mostly European runners. C. Plummer, it's from the States. Becca Ward, thank you for your ride right on. on. And 
and Ian Matthews is caught up. Uh, next on the agenda, Tom, is the Hastings 1066 100 miler. Goes from London down to Hastings. Uh, beginning of July. Check it out. TV Guy AU asking how often should you calibrate the milestone? Um, entirely up to you, to be honest. Some people calibrate every single run. I would imagine. You know, it should stay calibrated. Once it's calibrated, it's calibrated. As long as your treadmill doesn't change, then uh, it should stay calibrated. But just for safety or whatever, to a peace of mind once a month. And it also depends how often you run on Zwift, of course. Kudos to you, though. 2.44 in the morning, Melbourne, Australia. Well done. Nice to have you with us. <sighs> 80 metres. Okay, there we go. Time for a rest. Well done, everyone. So, 400 meters, then we go again. We get 600 meters to run at 14.8 kilometers an hour. Three kilometers done. 6.7 to go, Wednesday workout, 19th of June, 2019. And uh, a nice big Group B. Rather spread out though. So Nando and Gaspacha, 24 seconds ahead. Bridgewood, Plummer, Vadu, Sanderson, Odysseo. Uh, Kim Little must have had a dropout because he's uh, stopped 35 seconds back. So, technical problems for him. <laughs> ah, Ross Kirkpatrick. Wow, what's everybody doing up at quarter to three in the morning in Australia? <laughs> I mean, it's lovely to see you. Thank you for coming. Massive kudos to you. But for God's sake, go to bed. You've got work in the morning. Please sleep. But we love you. <sighs> okay, so this this is probably the toughest of the intervals. 600 meters at 14.8. Because after that, 400 meters is over pretty quickly. 600 is just long enough that you kind of want it to end sooner. So in 50 metres, we will go again. Vadu and I are very good at running together. <sighs> Quite often you will find that uh, Vadu and me will be locked right together. Okay, here we go. 14.8. I'm toast. I'm not quite toast just yet, but we'll go for it. Six hundred meters. Just got to stay relaxed. Keep your shoulders down. Get the oxygen into your lungs. Keep your arms moving forwards.
way through 300 metres to go. Still staying relaxed. Okay, so that is going to hurt the next time around. When we build it back up again after the break. Uh, Carol says no deep voice tonight. Yeah, no, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Monday night, all sorts of internet problems. And a result of which was my voice sounding terribly deep on the, uh, on the stream. You saying I don't have a deep manly voice naturally, Carol? Uh, Daniel, hello, buddy. So 200 meters, and then we go again. 400 meters at 15.7. That'll be another tough one on the way back out. Hopefully it'll be over quite quickly when we do it this time. Heart rate is looking good. 146, still in the yellow zone, unless that's an erroneous heart rate, but I don't think so, I think it's all right. I feel okay. So um, my heart rate isn't, uh, it doesn't, you know, perception wise, it doesn't feel like it's any higher than that. So I'm happy with that reading. Legs are almost completely recovered now, pretty much from my Tenerife run two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. So I probably could have given Group A a go tonight. It would have been very tough. But um, that's how you make the gains, isn't it? Pushing yourself, right? <laughs> Here we go again, 14 point, no, 15 point seven. Still trying to stay relaxed. See the heart rate gradually creeping up. And look, we're halfway through already. Thanks for the ride on.
All right, so a brief rest, only 200 meters this time. And that's almost all done already, half gone already. 100 meters, and then we've got our 200 meter sprint. Your uh, thumbs up. Right <laughs> okay, here we go. Final sprint before halfway recovery time. <laughs> Sixteen and a half kilometers an hour. So there we are, first half done. Now we've got 800 meters recovery, and then we do all that again in reverse. But you know, the first half has gone pretty quick, hasn't it really? As I said, those, those intervals, because they get shorter and shorter, you get faster and faster. They're over in a flash. Macklin, thank you for your ride. Right on. Oh, I'm so pleased we haven't got any internet problems tonight. Peter Denny, thank you very much, Peter. Well, I did originally sign up to Group A. Um, right on. I'm just, think, just thinking now. Thank you, John Hepplewhite. I'm fairly, I'm feeling fairly comfortable, so. Perhaps I could have given Group A a go, but I'm not denying it would have been very tough. But I am finding Group Group B okay today. Heart rate is showing that, so yes, we've just got into... Uh, Johansson, thank you for your ride on. Ride on! Just got into zone four of my heart rate in kilometre five there, but generally, this is, in terms of heart rate, in terms of perceived effort, not too bad. Not too bad today. Thank you all for being there. Let's have a look and see if Tim is streaming, if I can find him. No, he's not there. Not to worry. Um, now's the time to remind you, if uh, you uh, are watching this and you've never seen Zwift before, um, it's very easy to get involved. All you have to do is get yourself a treadmill and a foot pod and you're away really, free account, so it's no, it doesn't cost anything. Although there has been a lot of discussion recently about future possible charging, but I don't think we need to worry about that yet at all. It's so easy to get set up for Zwift running. All you need are a few things. Firstly, access to a treadmill. Either at home or at the gym, it doesn't matter what kind of treadmill you use, any treadmill will work with Zwift. Next, you need a foot pod, preferably a Bluetooth foot pod, and the most popular ones to use at the moment are the Zwift pod or the Stride. Then simply download the Zwift app onto any of these devices. So, a Mac, a PC, 
an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, Zwift even works on Apple TV. Pair your foot pod in the app, possibly add a heart rate monitor if you like, and that's it, you're all set up for Zwift running. Okay, 400 meters of recovery left, and then we're back into our intervals. And we're starting with the 200 meter sprint. So if, if it has made you think about joining Zwift, go and look at the website, zwift.com forward slash run. You can also cycle, but cycling does currently have a monthly subscription, whereas uh, running does not. So if you want to try out running, if you want to try out Zwift, get on running first and have a look at the course, have a look at the kind of things you can do on Zwift. And uh, if you feel so inclined, get yourself a bike trainer and uh, get on the bike as well. A lot of us do both. So there's six kilometers done of Wednesday workout. 3.79 to go. And uh, we are edging towards the next set of speed intervals. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, and if you're watching on Twitch and on Mixer, good to have you with us. If you want to say hello, I'm watching chat for Twitch Facebook and YouTube. Can't see Mixer chat, unfortunately, sorry. 100 meters to go for the next 200 meter sprint. So this is where um, it might start to hurt for people. If group B is your group, if that's the, the group which challenges you the most, then this should start to hurt now. Let's go. They do sticking right with me. Nice. Right back down to eight point five for recovery. slow down a bit slower than other people because other people being on foot odds their slow down tends to be slower as it were hello Tim uh, what's those two dots for then On Facebook, it's probably an emoji, but I can't see it on the uh, the chat thing that I'm looking at. Anyway, I tried to uh, I tried to put your stream up, but uh, it wasn't um, connected, so couldn't do it. Close up of a seagull as we go through the arch for the next set, 400 meters at 15.7. Here we go. Ooh, infinity.
Heart rate 158, 159. Definitely working. Two hundred meters to go. Three kilometers left of Wednesday workout. One sixty nine heart rate, one seventy, definitely working. that a little bit. Oh. So, as I said, this next one is going to be the one that really hurts. 600 meters at 14.8 kilometers now. Jay Smith, thank you for your ride on. Right on. Just a bit longer than you want it to be. The 800 at the end will also hurt, but probably not quite as much. But you'll be able to tell by my heart rate. Watch my heart rate. See how high it climbs. Hasn't come down much, by the way, since uh, we stopped that last one, because I've been talking. Five, four, three, two. One. To infinity and beyond. So watch the heart rate. See how much it hurts me. You know, I could go on about how much I'm relaxed and it's not hurting, but if my heart rate is 175, you know it is hurting. And you know I'm lying. Similarly, if my heart rate is 150 and I say it's absolutely killing me, you know I could really put in more effort. 400 to go. Thanks, Carol. Christoph always stays with me. One seventy two, so it's not easy. Nice. 
So know how I I managed my slowdown there so that I could meet back up with Christoph with Vadu. If you're running on Zwift and you're in a group workout like this where ideally the group stays together, can you monitor and manage your running like you would outside so that you stay together with the pack so you either speed up or slow down during the recovery periods to stay together as a group it's kind of well we like to think it's Zwift etiquette but to be honest not an awful lot of people stick to it a lot of the time So last big effort coming up. We've done eight kilometers, 1.8 left to go. I'll probably round that up to 12 kilometers all in, uh, 10 kilometers all in. Ryan Downey, thank you for your ride on, buddy. Right on. So last effort coming up, 800 metres at 13.9. So we may as well do 14. <sighs> yeah, this is, ha this is definitely hurting me more the second half of the run, as it should, of course. But heart rate has come down, 153. Expect it to get right up to 170 again for this 800 meter rep. But this is the last bit of effort we have to do now. So we're almost done. Here we go. Three, two, 13.9, so we'll go to 14. And we just have to manage this last 800 now. As relaxed as you can be. Just have to breathe. Mentally focus, this is your last effort. So Odysseo is 1.5 minutes behind. Sanderson, 19 seconds behind. Ian Matthews, right behind us. C Plummer, one minute, 27 seconds ahead. Bridgewood, one minute, 30 seconds ahead, 37 seconds ahead. Tim and Group A are well over four minutes, nearly five minutes ahead of us. 500 meters left. youtube.com forward slash film my run go and subscribe back up to 171 heart rate One kilometre left, 20, 200 metres to go of this set.
toast. There we are. That's it. Just recovery time now. Ah. So what normally happens with recovery is that when we hit the, uh, the final set, 600 meter cool down, we will speed up a little bit and then slow it down again from there. You can see along the bottom, the uh, colored graph shows you the effort that I was putting in. So here we go, 600 meters cool down now. Probably bump up to about 10 and a half. 10.9. Come on, Christoph. Let's finish it together, buddy. So just dishing out all my ride-ons. Just a way of congratulating everybody, saying well done, and thank you as well. There was three of them in group A, and uh, C Plum is quite a way ahead of us in group B. So that is it, 200 metres left. Actually, I'll, I'll do uh, I'll do 10k, so 400 metres left. Um, and uh, that is it for Wednesday workout. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for your comments, your questions, your chat. It's been good fun. Thankfully, no internet problems tonight. And uh, we'll be back on Monday for Monday Run Club. Just knock out the last 200 meters just to get it to uh, 10k. Well done, Christoph. 
Christophe Fadou from Belgium, thank you very much. Always good to run with you, always stick right with me. Great stuff, good work. So we'll just see it out to, uh, to 10K, just to get the XP points. Cheers, Christophe. So not easy, um, I must admit, um, I was finding it fairly comfortable in the first half. Thanks for the ride on. Ride on. Nolan, thank you. Um, but as predicted, second half um, did get a lot tougher. So um, I dread to think what I would have been like had I run in Group A tonight. Anyway, I have to make moves because I'm going to go and watch my kids in their swimming lesson. So I'll see you for Monday Run Club, guys. If not, before, maybe I'll get on the bike, hopefully, before the, uh, before the weekend. Um, oh, no, we do have Friday. Um, the Night Owl Run on Friday. Look at the Zwift Companion app for that. Um, I'm not entirely sure which one I'm doing. Uh, bear with me and I shall tell you. Hold on. Events. So, Friday, I am signed up to do um, 11 a.m. UK time on Friday morning. So that's the one I'm signed up for. And there are currently 49 runners signed up for that, so that should be good. So 11 a.m. UK time, Friday. See you then, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.